Hello, and welcome to the Zenata Consulting Beginner Series. This is going to be on WorkDrive, and we're going to start off with setting up groups and users. I'm Brett Martin from Zenata Consulting. And I'm Tyler Colt, and I'll go ahead and get right into it here. So here we're kind of looking at the first screen that's going to present itself when you go ahead and uh, log into WorkDrive. And to get to your user management, there's actually kind of like two different places where bits and pieces of the functionality are going to live. Um, first, I'll go ahead and show where we would actually add a new user and set up some of their baseline permissions. So from this homepage, we'll go down here to the bottom left under the admin console. And I'll go ahead and pull that up. And from here, we kind of get a top down, you know, out of the gate of kind of how things are looking, you know, you can see your storage, you know, what storage is being used by which users um, to actually go ahead and do the user management. We'll go ahead under here under the members tab. So currently we see we just have two users, uh, Zen Ada, who is our, you know, super admin and admin of templates, as well as Ben Ada, which is just one of our other team members. Um, if I wanted to go ahead and add an additional user. I would just go up here to the top right under invite members. And from there, it's going to ask for, you know, name, email, and, and some of that core information. I will highlight if you are using Zoho One and you click this button, it's going to go ahead and open you up into a new window to add them to your Zoho One license. So just a little bit different depending on your license plan. All right, let's talk a little bit about setting up permissions for each user. Yeah, so as we see, kind of as a default, you're always going to have that one super admin to rule them all, right? That's going to be the account owner. It'll oftentimes be the same owner as, you know, whoever owns Zoho One, if you are on that plan as well. Um, but if we want to actually give some different permissions to a user, we'll just go over here to the right-hand side under the three dots. That'll kind of expand this out, and we can do a couple different things. Um, so by default, you know, people are going to be a team member which just means that they're going to have access to different folders and files only when we share it to them and based on the permissions that we share. So a team member might have view permissions on a certain folder, but edit permissions on another just based on how we set those up. Uh, the other option here would be to make someone a team admin. Uh, that's going to kind of give them permissions across the board to do a lot more. Um, that, that won't give them permission to see things that are in people's own kind of private spaces, but it will give them permissions to the majority of team folders and operations. Um, the last little permissions option that's important to know is uh, adding people as a template admin. Um, inside of WorkDrive, you can create templates for documents and templates for folders. And if you want someone to be able to create or edit those templates, you'll need to make them a template admin. Um, in this case, we'll just go ahead and leave Ben Ada as a standard user. And we'll jump over to uh, actually creating a group for these users to be in. There's an interesting thing. You actually can't set up the groups from in this settings tab. You actually have to go into the main uh, dashboard window in order to go ahead and set those up. Yeah, it's one little oddity. So, you know, going back to our homepage here, if we go under the top right under the little icon, in this case, it's, um, you know, our logo oftentimes might be a picture of you that you've uploaded. And so if we go under this tab and go under team details, this is where we can actually go ahead and set up some groups. Um, again, one interesting thing is if you are on Zoho One and you have groups set up in some other applications, they'll automatically pull over here into WorkDrive. Um, but maybe we wanted to create a group for people that are on the sales team. So I can go ahead and create a Zoho WorkDrive group and give it a name. Give it a quick description. And then we can go ahead and add our various members. Maybe we want to add Ben Ada and Zen Ada is already an admin, so they don't need to uh, be added. When you go ahead and assign this person to a group, you can make them a group admin, meaning that they would be able to add members in the future, or you can just create them as a group member. Um, we'll get into this a little bit more in our next video, which is going to be on the creation of team folders. But groups are a really, really nice way to set up sharing permissions so that if you have people coming in or out of the company, you don't have to share every folder to every person as long as they're shared to the right group, then those people always have the access that they need. 
And if you watch our video on document sharing, we'll go into this in a little more detail on how these groups actually apply to that. Thanks for listening to our tutorial and we'll see you next time.